we're going to solve this inequality. First thing we're going to do is rewrite it. Now subtract 4 on both sides. So 8 minus 4 is 4. Divide both sides by 5. 4 fifths. All right, so we're going to stop here for a minute. We have an absolute value, which can never be negative, and it's greater than 4 fifths. So what does that mean? Uh, that means, let's see, a good way to explain a number line is one way to think about it. Uh, but let's use the algebra, the plus minus with algebra. So absolute value means x minus 8 is always positive. So x minus 8 is either positive or x minus 8 is negative. So you make it positive like that. And we'll keep solving this. It is important that you put the plus minus on the absolute value side. You don't put it on the other side because it will mess up your inequality. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this negative. And the way I'm going to do it is multiply by negative 1. So I have x minus 8 is less than, it flips the inequality, negative 4 fifths. And add 8 to both sides. And 8 in fifths, 8 times 5 is 40. So it's negative 4 fifths plus 40 fifths. And that'll be 36 fifths. And the other side, this one, will add, I don't have to multiply by negative 1 here. So we have 4 fifths plus 8, we know is 40 fifths. X is greater than 44 fifths. Let's plot these on a number line, and I'm going to take the mirror image of this. So we have 44 fifths is less than X. All right, here's 44 fifths. Now, you don't need to really care about where zero is because zero is not one of those two values. Uh, but it's important to know 36 fifths is less than 44 fifths. So it's really important to, you don't want to write 36 fifths, writing it add to the right of 44 fifths because it's smaller. So x has to be less than the 44 fifths. So that means we're looking this direction over here. And the other, x is greater than, oh, less than, oh, geez, I just put that the wrong way. All right, x is greater than 44 fifths, which means we're going that direction. This one, x is less than 36 fifths, means we're going that direction. And whenever you have this situation happening, it's going to be two separate intervals, negative infinity, comma, 36 fifths, union, and these are open because it was not equal, it was just less than, there was no equal underneath. Union, 44 fifths, comma, positive infinity. So this would be the interval notation answer, which is not how this question asked for it. So let's go and turn this into the form the question's asked for. When you have two separate intervals, obviously x can't come from both intervals. x can't be less than 36 fifths, and it cannot also be greater than 44 fifths. And that means that this union, this means or. x either comes from this or comes from this. And we can just put the word or between these two, and that will be our answer in uh, inequality notation. So let's scroll back to the actual question and see how we answer it. So we have this situation happening. Now be a little careful. A lot of people will write the variable on the left and not care that the inequality is flipping around. So we definitely have this situation with the or. And 
let's see, x is less than a. That will be a is right. That's the one x is less than right there. That'll be a. And so that doesn't give us a choice for b. b has to be the 44 fifths. Uh, and what are these? These are the decimal version of these fractions here. 